This is Streamline News for Wednesday, December 15, 2010, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Well, it took 348 days, but we finally got our first world record of 2010 today at the Short Course World Championships in Dubai. It came in the final event of the day, the women's 800 freestyle relay. China was under the Netherlands world record pace for the entire race, touching in 735.94. The previous record was 738.90. Three other countries, Australia, France, and the United States, also swim under the world record, with the Aussies and French taking silver and bronze. Though the U.S. didn't earn a medal in the relay, they did beat the American record of 745.58 with their time of 738.42, and Katie Hoff broke the individual 200 free American record with her 153.37 leadoff leg. Lou Giga and Felicity Galvez gave the 200 fly world record a little scare earlier in the session, with both under record pace through 100 meters. Lou of China and Galvez of Australia fell off the pace at the 150 mark and faded badly in the final 50 meters. That's when Spain's Maria Belmonte Garcia snuck by the leaders to win her first world championship title with a 203.59. Gemma Lowe of Great Britain finished second and Petra Granlund of Sweden picked up the bronze. Katika Hasu, who had a great meet at Senior Nationals two weeks ago, was never in contention and finished fourth. Lou and Galvez finished fifth and sixth. Garcia wasn't happy with just one win today. About an hour later, she took the 400 IM in 424.21 in less dramatic fashion. She took the lead in the breaststroke leg and held off China's Ye Shi Win in the freestyle. China went silver and bronze with Lu Zhuanzhu finishing third. The first final of the day was the men's 200 freestyle, and before the meet, many expected this race to be one of the great showdowns of the week. Ryan Lochte took the lead at the 75 and held off a fast-charging Danila Isatov of Russia, winning with an American record time of 141.08. Isatov was just a little ways back in 141.70. And Usmaluli, more known for his distance freestyle prowess, snuck into third place with a 142.02. World record holder Paul Biederman couldn't keep the pace, finishing fifth. Yannick Agnel of France, who many believe to be the prime challenger for the gold medal, underestimated the speed of the prelim session and was locked out of the final with, a, with the 10th fastest swim in prelims. France got back on top in the men's 400 freestyle relay today with a winning time of 304.78. Fred Bousquet went by Isatov on the anchor leg to touch the wall eight hundredths of a second ahead of Russia. Brazil, going on the strength of a monster second leg by Cesar Cielo, won the bronze. The U.S. was as far back as fifth during the race, and Ryan Lochte made up some ground on the anchor leg, but could only muster a fourth place finish. Mike Alexandrov set an American record on the way to posting the fastest time in the semifinals of the 100 breast today. Alexandrov's time of 57.18 erases the official American record set in 2002 by Ed Moses, and is just a tick slower than the 57.16 he swam at last year's duel in the pool. Now remember that the swims done at that meet did not count as American records because USA Swimming put a ban on tech suits two months before the worldwide ban. World record holder Cameron Vanderberg will be the second seed with Brazil's Felipe Silva as both posted times of 57.19. Silva still has the fastest time in the world with a 56.7 from the Brazilian Nationals in September. Tomorrow's final in the men's 100 back will feature the two fastest men in short course meters. Stanislav Donets is the top seed with a 49.62, the only swim under 50 seconds in the semifinal. World record holder Nick Thoman is the third seed with a 50.69. Camille Accor, the fastest long course backstroker this year, will be the second seed with his 50.53. Now, SwimmingWorld.com will have recaps from all finals races in Dubai for you as they happen, so Check back each day beginning at 10 a.m. Eastern through Sunday. Finally today, Amanda Beard will be writing her memoirs about her life as, a, as an Olympian, struggling with eating disorders and raising a child. The book is set to be released in the spring of 2012, just before she tries to make her fifth Olympic team. Beard's agent, Evan Morgenstein, will be writing the book with Beard. The memoir will be titled, In the Water, They Can't See You Cry. That will do it for Streamline News today. Thanks for watching.